my roots find themselves in an isolated settlement in the island of Andros. The house started being built in 1865 and was habited until 1990. There is this embracing attachment to the history of this house and to the moments and lives that it has sheltered. It was built in Melida, a place hidden in nature. The furniture, the objects are still the same. Things are still found in walls, in boxes with old photos, documents and testimonies. A close family member has actually created 30-page handwritten notebooks containing texts and a detailed inquiry of the history of the family and our roots. Their personal trait and importance will someday become memory and be an engraver of the past as discovered and seen through our eyes. For all those who lived on this land and got lost, but left us something from their figure, their character and their customs. Because we are their continuation and we must know them and remember them because a part of them leaves in us. Memory and the past are recorded through photography with a large amount of existing archive, bringing together a series of testimonies of the Greek culture throughout history. There is, for example, the Department of Photographic Archives of the Beneki Museum that was founded in 1973 with the aim of collecting, preserving and classifying old photographs with a collection of works from photographers such as Nellis, Bula Papewano, or Konstantin Manos. Some of Konstantin Manos' photographs inspired me to revive them by digitally adding color. Nicholas Kizis, Niki Litras and Georgi Ekovides imposed and established ethographic themes in Greek modern painting. Ordinary people, scenes of everyday life, traditional customs, depictions of the rural life and the countryside are portrayed in their works with a nostalgic mood. Between memory and erasure follows similar paths in thoughts and processes. It is based on direct visualization and personal testimony that recalls past experiences. The works are a return to the roots, while the identification with them constitute a confirmation of historical continuity. They depict scenes that glorify or praise the lives of our ancestors. Memory is what defines consciousness and with memory, the living lasts. Over time memories may fade, but they are collected and preserved. They are in it, somehow, defining our actions. What is the relationship of images to time? And what is our relationship to what has disappeared? The works express the flight of time, the fragility of existence, and the porous border between absence and presence. 